Bob, what are you reflecting on this morning? You know, I remember when Richard Nixon resigned and CBS News correspondent Roger Mudd was part of the panel uh, after that happened. And they said, Roger, what's your reaction? And he said, you know, I think I want to go home and sleep a couple of hours and I'll come back and tell you tomorrow. I, 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 this was totally unexpected. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, certainly uh, from those of us who've been covering politics and in uh, over the years, this is, I think Charlie is right, this is, this is historic, but I don't think we can say right now where this goes from here. Unexpected, not because of any interest in politics, but unexpected because of the polling. The polls were telling us, uh, polls done by many different organizations at many different times, they were all pointing in the direction of a Clinton victory. The polls and the behavior of a candidate that people said did not was not fit to be president of the United States. So many people had found his behavior egregious, but at the end of the day, it really didn't matter. I take, you know, I take some hope in his speech tonight, though, that he said he wants to reach out, that he wants to build bridges, and that he wants us all to come together. I think that's a really good way to start in this country because there's a lot of healing that needs to happen today. If you look at, to your point, Gail, if you, the, on the questions of has the right experience and has the right judgment, Hillary Clinton won those questions by gargantuan amounts and numbers. But again, it's not what people uh, wanted. They want to change over They've experience and judgment. They're fed up. All right. Well, yeah. we, we, change we is what they will get. Yeah. And we it, hope, has been, it has been quite a night. We hope he rules by fear rather than, I mean, by hope rather than fear. fear. Well, his conciliatory ex uh, uh, victory speech tonight was certainly uh, a very good step mm -hmm. in a long, long process over these next four years. Mm -hmm. We sure are grateful that you stayed here with us <laughs> all this time. The yes, who are you people? The rancor yes, sometimes yes, raunchy yes. election of 2016 yes. now comes to a peaceful, if improbable, end. 70-year-old right. Donald J. Trump will be sworn in as the 45th president of the United States on January the 20th. The Trump presidency begins in 72 days, fueled by what we know now is record turnout. Election coverage continues now on our streaming news service, CBSN, and there will be much more in just a few hours. Really? Yeah. yeah. Who's going to be Charlie here, Nora? and I, right back here, wearing these same clothes. Yeah. For Nora O'Donnell and our entire campaign 2016 team, I'm Scott Pelley. Thank you for being with us on CBS. I am officially running for President of the United States. I'm back. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. I'm running to help working families get a raise. We will make America great again. The American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. It's weak to disparage women. It's no weak to disparage Hispanics. A man who can be provoked by a tweet should not be anywhere near the nuclear codes. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters. Just remember... Love Trump's hate. I humbly accept your nomination. For President of the United States. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails. I'm not making excuses. I've said it was a mistake and I regret it. This is the single biggest scandal since Watergate. There is no case here. We're going to win at the border. We're going to build a wall. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. She has tremendous hate in her heart. I don't care what he says about me. I care about what he says about you. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans.